Good afternoon or good evening wherever you might be located. And thank you so much for joining me tonight for our live presentation on luxury rail experiences here with Railbookers. Uh, before we get started, I just want to point out a couple of things to you. So we have some great handouts available to you today. Uh, we've got the handout and the Railbookers map. Now, I know in my previous session, I heard from just a couple people that they didn't see the map showing up on their screen. So if you don't see the map and you'd like a copy of it, please go ahead and pop in the questions box. Uh, just pop in your request for the map and we'll make sure we get it sent out to you after today's program. But that does bring me to my next point, which is this handy dandy questions box that you should see on the right hand side of your screen please do feel free to ask questions all throughout today's broadcast. We'll address uh, all of your questions today at the end of today's presentation. It's one of my favorite parts, getting to interact with you folks and answer all those fun little uh, questions you have about our trips. So again, please do feel free to ask questions at any point throughout today's broadcast. And I just wanna thank everybody again for joining me on our Luxury Rail Experiences presentation here with Railbookers. Uh, I'll be your host this evening. My name is Colleen and I've had the very great fortune to be with Railbookers for the last nine years now. So today we are gonna talk, of course, about Luxury Rail. We're gonna talk about the different luxury trains that operate all across the world. We're gonna have a look at the scenic routes that those trains follow. We'll see the accommodations on board and talk about what life is like on the train. And we'll highlight why these are some of our most popular rail experiences. But before we get started, just a little bit about us here at Railbookers. So first of all, who are we? <laughs> Railbookers is part of the Yankee Leisure Group family of brands. Uh, you may be familiar with some of our sister companies. Uh, so Amtrak Vacations is our uh, sister company. They provide rail vacations here throughout the USA and Canada. They're the official tour provider for Amtrak. Yankee Holidays does shorter little getaway style trips here in the USA and Canada. And then Railbookers is your go-to for worldwide rail travel. Not only can they do North America, but they do quite a lot in Europe, Asia, Australia, South Africa, New Zealand. Uh, really, we have a saying here at Railbookers and that is wherever the train goes, so do we. So let's just touch on a few reasons briefly uh, why folks love to work with us here at Railbookers. Uh, just again, a little bit about us here. Uh, for the first one, we can book you up to 24 months in advance. We can make those reservations for your entire vacation package up to two years ahead of time. Uh, you'll find if you do try to do some of this planning on your own, that it can be a little bit confusing on when uh, things are available to book. And especially for the luxury trains, which we're gonna see uh, in just a minute, they book up very quickly because most luxury trains only have a select number of departures uh, every season. So they don't run all year long. They mostly run spring to fall, you know, through the summer months. Uh, they also typically will only run, you know, just a couple times every month. It's not every day. Uh, so with Railbookers here, you can book your luxury train travel for this year, or you can already book it for 2022. Uh, so we can get your spot secured nice and early for you so they don't sell out. Now, of course, our trips are often bucket list experiences for folks. So we do try and make each and every trip as special as possible for you. Rail, of course, is a very scenic way to travel. Uh, you'll see sites by train that you would never be able to see by car or by airplane. And really, I wanna highlight uh, kind of these three points all together, your freedom and flexibility, the fact that all of our itineraries are customizable, and as part of that, you can choose your own accommodation. So we'll talk more about customizing your trip as we go along here, but just keep that in the back of your mind throughout today's presentation. If you see a trip that you like, but you wanna do an extra few nights here, or you'd rather start from there, do not worry because all of these trips here are customizable. And of course, with Railbookers, we do give you the ability uh, to put down a small deposit now, and then you don't have to worry about your final payment until much closer into your trip departure. But really, I think that one of the main reasons that folks love to work with us here at Railbookers 
is the peace of mind that we can give you because we do have 24 hour support from our global offices. Uh, we have locations all across the globe. So we've got two offices here in the US. Uh, we've got an office up in Canada, one in London in the United Kingdom, and then down in Sydney, Australia as well. And what that means is that no matter where you are traveling in the world, or what time of day it is, if you need any help whatsoever, so before your trip, during your trip, or after your trip, you can give us a call here with Railbookers and somebody is gonna answer the phone and be able to assist you. So let's say, for example, you are taking one of my favorite trains, the Venice Simplon Orient Express, uh, and you get off the train in Venice and then you realize, oh my gosh, I left my travel documents on the couch. <laughs> so now I have to go to my hotel in Venice and what am I gonna do when I get there? Uh, no worries, you can give us a call. Somebody probably in our London office will answer the phone and they'll be able to send you a brand new copy of those uh, documents right over to you or to pick up at your hotel, whatever is easier. Uh, so do keep that in mind uh, throughout today's presentation as well. Now I know that it is a little bit of an unusual time to be planning a trip, especially a trip uh, somewhere across the pond, Europe uh, or maybe Australia. Uh, so we are trying to make that as easy as possible for you here with Railbookers. Uh, and the way we've done that is we've created what we call our maximum flexibility offer. So with maximum flexibility, if you book your trip by the 31st of March, it does not matter when you travel, it could be this year or next year, uh, you have the option to make any changes you want to your trip right up until five days prior to your departure. So you can change your travel dates, you can push the trip out forward, or maybe you get the vaccine this week and you want to bring your trip up and travel sooner, you can do that as well. You can also change your itinerary around or even change your entire destination. Let's say you plan a trip out to Europe and then decide later on you'd rather stick closer to home. No worries, we can swap that out for a trip here uh, in the U.S. And with maximum flexibility as well, uh, if you need to, you could even cancel that trip right up until five days prior to your departure. So you could give us a call five days before you're scheduled to leave uh, and cancel your trip and you'd get back the full amount that you've uh, paid so far uh, in the form of a future travel credit. So it really gives you a lot of options here uh, to do whatever you need to do uh, on your trip. Now with Railbookers, uh, we have another saying, I guess we're full of sayings. <laughs> we have another saying, and that is that we take the mystery out of rail travel. Uh, so I always like to start these presentations with a quick look at the rail network map across Europe, because I think this does such a great job of illustrating how incredibly well connected Europe and beyond uh, is by rail. But I know that it is really quite intimidating to a lot of folks. Uh, so if you look at the map, all of those brightly colored lines there, each one of those represents a different high-speed rail line in Europe. And pretty much none of them talk to each other. So let's say that you wanna travel from Paris through the beautiful French countryside into Switzerland. You wanna do some scenic train rides around Switzerland and then continue on to Italy. Maybe go on a gondola ride in Venice or head down to Rome and see the Colosseum. We can set that all up for you. But if you tried to do it on your own, you would run very quickly into the fact that you have three different train operators in France, Switzerland, and Italy. They operate in different languages and in a couple cases, different currencies as well. You'll also find that when you can book those train tickets is really going to vary by your uh, journey. So the train from Paris to Geneva, you can book it about four months in advance. The scenic train ride in Switzerland, you can book the train six months in advance, but you can't select your seat until three months in advance. And then maybe you head down to Italy, maybe you want to go to one of the smaller uh, cities on the coast, get some seafood there that regional local train will be only bookable maybe one month in advance. So it'd be quite complicated to do on your own, but that's where Railbookers steps in to help. Uh, so we can book your entire vacation, no matter where you wanna go throughout the world, up to two years in advance. And also we are the rail experts, so we can make those recommendations for you on the most scenic route to travel, or maybe you wanna get there as soon as possible to enjoy the pasta in Italy. We can also recommend the fastest route for you. If you're not a morning person, we can book afternoon trains for you. So we can really help you to plan your perfect vacation uh, here with Railbookers. 
And speaking of your perfect vacation, uh, we do more than just the train. I know, of course, today's topic is luxury trains, uh, but you'll see all the different itineraries we offer are really quite inclusive. So we will help you to arrange your hotels, your sightseeing, we'll get those seat reservations confirmed on the train for you to make sure that you're facing forward on the window seat where you want to be. We can also book things like ferries and different excursions. And on your overnight train rides, we'll make sure to book you in the private sleeping cabins. Now, just a quick note, we'll talk about this uh, more later on, but with those hotels and your sightseeing, again, those are all customizable. So we have three-star, four-star, and five-star hotels that you can choose from. For the sightseeing, let's say you are afraid of heights and you don't wanna go to the top of the Eiffel Tower, no worries. We can book you a Seine River cruise or maybe admission to Versailles, the Palace of Versailles instead. So whatever you like to do on your vacation, we can make that work for you here with Railbookers. Now, before we do talk about the luxury trains, I do just wanna point out how the European rail operators are maintaining a safe environment in these times. I know that's a very common question that we're getting from folks about how the safety on board the trains. Now, they are requiring facial coverings, both in the stations and on board the trains, uh, both for passengers and for the train staff. Uh, but the great thing about a lot of these luxury rail journeys is that you do have your own private cabin. And with that private cabin, you can take your mask off in the privacy of your own room. Now, on the daytime trains like the Bernina Express and the Glacier Express in Switzerland that you'll see, those are shorter daytime rides. So they don't have uh, cabins, they have sort of regular seating. And that seating configuration has been changed. Uh, the way they allocate those seats has been changed to allow for more social distancing on board. Uh, most of those trains are running at 50% or less capacity to allow plenty of space in between uh, all parties. And then of course, all of these rail providers have dramatically increased their cleaning and sanitation protocols. Now you've heard me say that we can book the trip up to two years in advance quite a few times probably by now but I also want to remind you that we can do last minute trips as well so if you do want to travel here in the US for example and you want to go this weekend no worries give us a call we like to say that you can book from tomorrow to two years in advance with rail bookers and finally a very quick note for you before we look at the first luxury train and that is that we do have a fantastic sale going on right now. Uh, if you are interested, we do have a great escape sale to get you back on track for 2021. You can save up to $500 per couple off of your vacation. And that is only valid until this Friday. So it was extended actually. So I can tell you pretty confidently it's going to end on Friday. Uh, that's the 29th of January. So if you are looking at a trip for this year or next year, uh, certainly consider taking advantage of that great sale. Without any further ado, let's jump into the main topic for today, which is luxury rail travel. And we are going to start with one of the most famous and most iconic luxury train journeys in the world, the Venice Simplon Orient Express. Just look at that photo, doesn't it just <laughs> kind of inspire you to, to go on the train right away? Uh, the Venice Simplon Orient Express is an absolutely unbelievable bucket list, once in a lifetime uh, opportunity. And here with Railbookers, we have quite a lot of different itineraries which feature the Orient Express train. Uh, but today we're going to look at one of them, uh, just to give you an idea. Uh, and that trip is the Bernina Express and Venice Simplon Orient Express to Venice. Uh, so this trip here is a, an eight-day itinerary. It is going to start in London uh, with one night accommodation there in London. And then you'll board the Venice Simplon Orient Express, travel all the way through the beautiful rural French countryside, uh, into Switzerland, into the Swiss Alps. You'll actually go through the famous Simplon Pass. That's where the train gets its name. It's called the Venice Simplon Orient Express because it travels along the historic train route uh, through the beautiful, stunning Simplon Pass along to Venice. And then we'll have you spend three nights in Venice. We have some excellent sightseeing included for you there in Venice. We have a walking tour of the city, along with admission to the Doge's Palace and the Golden Basilica in St. Mark's Square. 
And of course, we have a gondola ride included because no trip to Venice would be complete without a gondola ride. After your three-night stay in Venice, you'll travel along uh, through Milan up to Tirano, which is an Italian town right on the border between Italy and Switzerland. And you'll board the Bernina Express. Uh, so not only do you get the Venice Simplon Orient Express on this trip, you get a bonus scenic train journey uh, on the Bernina Express, which will take you from Tirano, Italy, uh, across the border to St. Moritz in Switzerland. And you'll finish out your trip here with two nights in St. Moritz. Now, of course, as I said, these are all customizable. So if you like, after St. Moritz, you can continue to explore Switzerland. We've got loads of other scenic trains and journeys throughout Switzerland that you could add on. So always keep that in mind as well. Before I show you the Venice Simplon Orient Express, I do want to talk a little bit about your bonus train ride here on the Bernina Express because it is a highlight in and of itself. Uh, it's an incredibly beautiful and scenic journey from Tirano, Italy, uh, across to St. Moritz in Switzerland. It does, uh, from the moment you leave uh, Tirano, Italy, you are climbing up into the Swiss Alps, so very mountainous scenery along this route here. It is about a half a day journey, maybe four to five hour journey uh, from Italy across into Switzerland. And you'll see some absolutely breathtaking sights along the way. Now the train is going to cross over 196 bridges. I don't know why, but I love that fun fact. <laughs> 196 bridges. It's gonna wind around tight mountain passes. You'll see beautiful turquoise lakes like the one reflected here and snow-capped peaks in those incredible Swiss Alps. Uh, and on the Bernina Express, there are two classes of service. So there's standard class or first class. Uh, first class is pictured here, kind of keeping in our luxury theme. You can see the floor to ceiling windows that kind of wrap around overhead for those incredible views of the lakes and mountains. And you can see the seating configuration here. It's gonna be two seats across a table from two other seats or one seat across from another seat. So if you are traveling as a couple or a pair, uh, just two people traveling together, I highly recommend the first class because that way you can sit together at your own little table. Also with first class, it's a little bit more comfortable, more leg room, more room for your luggage, all those kind of great little perks that come with that as well. But of course, the key reason to take this particular vacation is the Venice Simplon Orient Express. Uh, absolutely breathtaking journey. I know I said that before, but genuinely will take your breath away when you see this train for the first time. It just gleams in the sunlight, uh, the navy and gold carriages there. Uh, these are the historic carriages, by the way, folks. So these are the original train carriages which operated at the turn of the century, and they have all been painstakingly hand restored to their former glory for your comfort and convenience. And you can see here's some shots of the inside of the train, absolutely sort of sumptuous uh, decor there on board the train. They've got uh, incredibly plush, beautiful seats uh, for you in the lounge car, incredible uh, gleaming inlaid wood, Tiffany glass, all kinds of uh, incredible little details on board the train. And now this lounge car that you see here, they do have a baby grand piano in the lounge car, as well as a full bar, so you can get whatever type of cocktail you like to enjoy in the lounge while you listen to uh, the serenade from the baby grand piano uh, before you head into your dinner that evening. Now, dining on the Venice Simplon Orient Express is an experience uh, in and of itself. They actually have three different dining rooms. Uh, three different dining rooms with three different styles of decor. So one of the dining rooms has these incredible uh, historic Lalique glass uh, panels, very Art Deco style. Uh, another one is sort of uh, got these black lacquer paneling throughout with these sort of uh, sumptuous red touches. So it's really different dining experience and you will get to eat in each one of those beautifully themed dining cars during your journey. You'll have lunch in one, dinner in another, and then breakfast the next morning in a third. So you will get to experience all three of those dining cars. Here's one uh, pictured in this bottom left-hand photo there. The food itself is incredible. Uh, the food is 
pre freshly prepared on board the train by real chefs. So they've got an actual kitchen carriage, a kitchen car uh, on board the train, and they have a whole team of chefs and servers preparing your food fresh, made to order, things like caviar and lobster, uh, squid ink pasta was one of my favorite things that we had on the train. You'll get a huge charcuterie board as well as sort of a, a aperitif sort of course uh, in between courses there. Uh, so really incredible food, multiple courses at every meal. I can guarantee for a fact that you will not be hungry when you get off the Venice Simplon Orient Express. I do not think it is possible to be hungry after that journey. Uh, in fact, I would recommend saving up some space in your stomach before you get on board. Uh, I was just so blown away by, by all the incredible food choices there. I will have a look as well at your cabins because I know this is uh, one of the things that folks want to see the most of. So we've got several photos here coming up of the cabin accommodation. So you can really get a sense of where you're going to kick back and relax during this journey. You can see again those gleaming cherry wood panels with the incredible uh, inlay. This is all hand done here. And you can see the steward. Uh, the stewards are a great feature of the Venice Implant Orient Express. They say it's a five star train. Uh, but I like to think of it as six star service. Uh, these folks are incredibly dedicated. They're incredibly proud of their train. Uh, everything is just so uh, in your cabin, it'll be arranged just perfectly. They're here for whatever you might need. Uh, and they do keep all of the facilities, you know, absolutely sparkling. Uh, you can see across from your couch here. So this is a love seat for you during the day. And then across from it, you can see uh, this beautiful door here. If you open the little latch, uh, these doors fold out and it reveals a water basin, sort of a vanity area. So big mirrors, uh, ladies, you can put on your makeup in the evening uh, when you prepare for dinner. Uh, and then you've got a whole little wash basin sink in there for, you know, brushing your teeth, all that sort of thing. Now, the restrooms on the Orient Express are just down the hall. Uh, but it is just one overnight on board the train. So the restrooms are just down the hall. And those stewards, like I say, are incredibly proud of, of their work. And they keep everything in spotless fashion. So it's not something that you really need to worry about. There's also only about eight cabins per carriage. So you're not sharing the space with, with too many folks. So here's just another view of your cabin accommodation in the daytime. You can see that beautiful love seat sofa. Plenty of room for two people to kick back and relax. You've also got a little tray table that will fold up for your afternoon tea, which they serve in your cabin. All kinds of really neat little touches in your cabin as well, like a little glass and water bottle holders here. Uh, on the back of the door where they have your vanity, they'll hang your uh, robe in the evening. You get a slippers and a robe, of course, <laughs> for you to get ready. And speaking of the evening, uh, while you are away at dinner and enjoying cocktails in the lounge, your steward will be transforming your cabin for nighttime. Uh, and at night, it does fold down into two bunk beds. So you'll see another picture of that in just a moment. Uh, but they, again, perfectly arrange your room. They put the slippers on just such an angle, everything like that. Uh, and very comfortable bedding, I have to say. I slept like a baby. <laughs> you also have a great big curtain that you pull down that will block out the light if you don't want to wake up with the sunset. Uh, I recommend staying up late and getting up early to maximize your awake time on the train. <laughs> but of course, that's just me. Here you can see it is set up for the nighttime and you get a little bit of a better sense of the size of the space in the bunk bed. You can see there is a ladder to help get up to the top bunk. So I found it quite easy to do. Uh, but if you do have any folks who have mobility concerns, you may want to consider getting two cabins, interconnecting cabins, and taking the wall out in between them. And then you can sit together during the day and at night just fold down the bottom bunk in each cabin. So just a thought for you as well. Now from Italy, we'll travel up into Switzerland uh, by the Brunina Express if we were on that previous itinerary. Uh, and that will have you arrive in St. Moritz. Uh, this trip here does stop in St. Moritz. This is the Grand Glacier Express in Excellence Class. Uh, so this journey features the Excellence Class on board the Glacier Express. The Glacier Express itself is probably one of 
if not the, probably the most famous scenic train journey in Switzerland. One of the most famous train journeys in the world. It routinely finds its place on the top 10 lists, you know, that they do of uh, most scenic train journeys. And this trip here, as designed, does start in Zurich. Uh, but again, these are all customizable. So if you wanted to tack this on to your Venice Simplon Orient Express and Bernina journey, that's super easy for us to do. Uh, but as designed, the itinerary starts here in Zurich with one night. You then travel across to Zermatt. Uh, Zermatt is one of my favorite places, not just in Switzerland, but pretty much anywhere in the world. It's one of my absolute favorite places that I've ever been. Uh, you'll spend two nights in Zermatt and you'll do a day trip up to the top of the Gorner Grat Mountain. You've got incredible views of the Matterhorn on that uh, day trip. And then you'll board the Glacier Express. And again, that's an excellence class on this particular itinerary. There are three classes of service on the Glacier Express, standard, first, and excellence class. But keeping with our luxury theme, today we're going to look at the excellence class on board that train. Uh, that is included on this trip all the way out here to St. Moritz. Uh, and this trip here is six days total, starting at 2,649 per person. Now that is based on two people sharing a room, the 2,649 per person. Uh, that's based on two people sharing a room just because that's our most common request, but we can easily accommodate solo travelers or groups of three or four or five or six, whatever you might have in your traveling party, just let us know and we can certainly get you the uh, itinerary and the rates for that. But today's presentation, all the prices you see will be based on two people sharing. Now, as I said, Zermatt is a fantastic place to visit. Uh, it's a picture perfect postcard kind of town. You can see right here in the photo that really traditional Swiss architecture. When you think of a little Swiss village, you're thinking of a place like Zermatt. It's got that chalet style architecture. It's nestled in the mountains right at the foot of the Matterhorn. Pretty much every time you turn the corner, you're going to get a view of the Matterhorn Mountain in the distance. Uh, the Matterhorn Mountain, of course, is one of the most photographed mountains in Europe. Uh, and you do a day excursion out from Gorner Grat, uh, sorry, out from Zermatt up to the top of the Gorner Grat Mountain. And that train ride that you see pictured there on the bottom left hand side, that gives you stunning and incredible views of the Matterhorn all throughout the train ride. What should get your uh, attention, should make you excited for the following day's train ride on the famous Glacier Express. Now, the Glacier Express is just about a full day of travel. You'll leave Zermatt in the morning and you'll arrive in St. Moritz in the early, well, mid afternoon. Um, so, you are traveling the bulk of the day on board the train. But do not worry because you are going to be looking at incredible scenery uh, all throughout your journey and you'll have some pretty plush accommodations uh, during your stay in excellence class. Now, the Glacier Express has a fun nickname. The nickname of the train is the slowest express train in the world uh, because it is going at a moderate pace as it winds through these incredibly tight mountain passes and things. Uh, and also because they want you to really take in that incredible scenery that you saw in the photo there. Very alpine scenery. Again, this is going really through the, the tops of those Swiss uh, mountains there uh, throughout the Swiss uh, mountain peaks in the Alps. And with the excellence class service, you do have literal red carpet service. You can see they roll out the red carpet for you. Uh, as you go to board, you'll be met by your personal concierge. So each excellence class carriage has a dedicated concierge who can assist you with whatever you might need, including uh, whisking your luggage away so that you don't have to worry about it. They'll take it to a separate dedicated lockable uh, area for your luggage and you don't have to see it for the rest of your journey. You can see those incredibly comfy seats uh, in the photo here. It is designed, pardon me, designed across a table from each other. So it'll be two people facing each other across a table. You can see the place settings in this photo because the meal time is a very important part of your journey in excellence class. We'll talk about that in just a moment. 
But before I move on to the meal, I do want to just point out quickly here for you folks, uh, these incredible floor to ceiling wraparound windows, uh, just to illustrate what the incredible uh, views will look like out the side of the window on the train. And every seat in excellence class is a window seat, as you can see there. Now, as I said, the meals are in the meal itself is incredible. It is a five course meal that's included with excellence class. So you do get the entire five course meal served with a flourish. They make a big deal about serving the meal uh, there on the excellence class. The waiters will pour the wine from way up high and you think that it's absolutely going to miss the glass, but it never does. Um, and it's a wide ranging menu. You can choose uh, from the different courses on the menu, uh, but often, you know, themed towards kind of local cuisine, the areas that you're passing through uh, in the Alps. Excellent Swiss wine as well available uh, on board the train because you do have access, exclusive access, I should point out, to the Glacier Bar. The Glacier Bar is just for excellence class passengers. You can see the configuration of the train. Here's the seating sort of in this uh, section of the train car and the incredible Glacier Bar in this section. So at any point throughout your journey, you could grab a glass of champagne and toast each other as you travel through the iconic Swiss Alps. Now with excellence class as well, not only do you get those incredibly plush window seats, your five course meal, access to the Glacier Bar, your personal concierge, dedicated luggage space, you also have a tablet at every table, uh, which will give you lots of fun, uh, exciting information about the journey that you're going through. And that journey will end you up in St. Moritz, which is a really fantastic place to visit. Of course, St. Moritz is known as a ski resort. It's mostly known for its winter sports, uh, but it's a great place to visit all throughout the year, especially in the spring and summertime. Uh, one fun tip for you about St. Moritz is that you can, in the morning, take one of the little mountain trains, uh, mountain cable cars up to one of the mountain peaks up here uh, and see snow in the morning and then go for a swim down in the lake later in the afternoon, uh, especially if you're traveling in the summertime. It's quite warm in the summer, a uh, bit chilly at the mountain peak, bring a jacket, but once you get down to the lake, you can uh, jump in and go for a swim. Now we will move from Switzerland across Europe uh, up to Scotland for our next luxury train, which is the Belmond Royal Scotsman. This journey here, the Royal Scotsman Western Scenic Wonders is a 13 day itinerary altogether. You start down here in London. Uh, and this one also has a bonus train ride. You get the incredible Caledonian sleeper train from London up to Edinburgh. So you get on the train in the late afternoon in London. You go across up to Edinburgh overnight to get your own private cabin. There's several different cabin types you can choose from. Uh, and you have a great sleeper train experience to kick off your train journey up to Scotland. Uh, you'll spend a few nights in Edinburgh, do some great sightseeing there before you board the three night journey on the Royal Scotsman train. So the Royal Scotsman train is gonna take you all through the incredible Scottish Highlands. It's three days on board that, well, three nights, four days uh, on board the Royal Scotsman train before you wind up in Inverness. Uh, spend a couple nights there, you can visit the Isle of Skye uh, and then head on down back to Edinburgh and back on down to London. Uh, if you choose, that's included in this particular itinerary. But again, it's all customizable, uh, so you can do what you like. But uh, the Royal Scotsman train itself is absolutely stunning. It's another historic train. So like the Venice Simplon Orient Express, the Belmont Royal Scotsman train has got the historic carriages. They've all been impeccably restored for your comfort and convenience. Uh, you'll see here some of the incredible scenery that you go through in the Scottish Highlands down to these bottom two photos here. Uh, with the Royal Scotsman, again, the service is impeccable. You're met as you board the train with a signature cocktail and a bagpipe serenade to put you in the mood for your journey through the Scottish Highlands. Uh, life on board is relaxed yet indulgent. Uh, you can see you've got the lounge in the bottom right hand photo there. Uh, definitely a little bit more subdued in style than the Italians on the Venice and Bon Orient Express, uh, but equally as comfortable and as uh, nice to stay in. 
You do also have a full service bar on the Belmont Royal Scotsman, so you can enjoy a uh, fantastic Scotch whiskey if you like. Uh, or of course you can have afternoon tea in the lounge as you see pictured in that top photo there. Uh, there may not be a baby grand piano here, but we do have some excellent entertainment throughout your journey. So typically in the evenings, they will have storytellers or uh, traditional musicians, things like that. Uh, in the lounge car, you see the storyteller in the top left-hand photo there. He's a traditional Scot Scottish storyteller. That's a tongue twister. Uh, and of course, we would be remiss if we did not discuss your dining on board the Belmont Royal Scotsman. There are three nights on board the train, so you do get three dinners. Well, you get all of your meals, of course, during your stay, but I do want to point out the dinners uh, because two of those dinners are informal, and then one of them is considered a formal dinner. So bring one fancy outfit uh, for your final night on board. Uh, there are two dining cars on board the Royal Scotsman, so you'll get ample opportunity to check out both of those beautiful dining cars. And similar to the Belmont Orient, Venice Simplon Orient Express, uh, the Belmont Royal Scotsman has a team of chefs and staff on board to prepare your meals fresh to order. Uh, so they are served to you, of course, in the dining car. Uh, they're prepared right there in the kitchen car. They've got a kitchen carriage on this train as well. And it is kind of locally themed cuisine. So oftentimes you'll have selections like salmon or things like that, sort of locally themed Scottish cuisine. Uh, but of course you can order whatever you like, uh, you know, off the menu there. Now, because you are on board the train for three days, uh, there are actually excursions built into your train journey, which is really quite neat, a little bit unique. Uh, here, there's only one other train that we'll see today that does that. Uh, so the Belmont Royal Scotsman, the way it works is the train will travel for a certain amount of time. It'll pause in the mid morning. You'll all get off the train and be brought out to some incredible part of Scotland to see the sights and the activities. Uh, and then you'll come back to the train, continue on along your way. So there are multiple excursions that you do throughout those four days on board the train. Uh, my favorite probably is when you visit Inverlochy Castle for an afternoon tea. So you'll actually get to have tea at the historic uh, castle. Uh, but I know a lot of folks really look forward to seeing the famous Loch Ness. Uh, you will get to see that in one of the excursions. So keep your eyes peeled, of course, for the Loch Ness monster. Uh, you'll also visit Glen Affric, which a lot of folks consider to be Scotland's most gorgeous glen. You'll see the Glenfinian Monument with a real Highlander. You can marvel at Mount Stewart on the Isle of Butte. Uh, so quite a lot of different excursions that are included all for you as part of your three night, four day itinerary on the Belmont Royal Scotsman. Now, just a quick look, uh, of course, at the cabin accommodations here for you. Uh, one of the great features of the Royal Scotsman is that they do have two lower uh, berths. So no bunk beds here. It is going to be lower or normal <laughs> beds for everybody. The cabin configuration will change depending on what you'd like to reserve. So they have these style cabins, which are twin style cabins, meaning two beds. Uh, or you could get a cabin with one double bed if you want to sleep together. Uh, of course, you've got gleaming woodwork and great little fixtures, uh, writing desk for sending home postcards, everything like that. And each train carriage uh, has its own history and has its own unique decor. So you might get a certain plaid in one uh, train carriage and a, a totally different plaid in another, different curtains here, uh, darker wood tones, all kinds of things like that. Each carriage is a, a unique uh, carriage. So it's a lot of fun even just to walk down the train and see uh, what everybody's uh, room looks like, right? <laughs> now with the Belmont Royal Scotsman, again, you can get interconnecting cabins uh, if you'd like. And I should point out as well one tiny feature, but I thought it was so neat. Uh, the very back of the train has an open air veranda. So you can actually step off, uh, well, step onto the veranda and take a, a photo of yourself on the edge of the train with the train tracks receding in the distance. Uh, and of course, I should tell you as well that because you are on the train for three days, uh, they do understand that you will need your private facilities. So all of the cabins on board the Royal Scotsman do have an ensuite bathroom with a toilet, sink, and shower. So you do have your own private uh, facilities here on the Royal Scotsman for your journey.
that one is certainly one for the books. Uh, well, now for our next luxury train, go all the way across the pond to Western Canada for a look at the famous Rocky Mountaineer train. Uh, this particular itinerary featuring the Rocky Mountaineer is one of our most popular ones. It's called the Grand Circle of the Canadian Rockies. You start out here with two nights in Vancouver. Take that rock Rocky Mountaineer train through Kamloops and across to Banff, which is nestled, of course, right in the heart of those Canadian Rockies. You'll do two nights in Banff, and we've got a great sightseeing tour there called the Lakes, Mountains, and Waterfalls Tour, which will take you into Banff National Park. You'll then hop up to Lake Louise. Maybe you'd like to stay at the famous Fairmont Chateau Lake Louise. We can certainly arrange that for you uh, if you'd like to stay there. And then you'll traverse the Icefields Parkway on your way up to Jasper. Uh, that's a really neat ride on the Icefields Parkway. You actually get the opportunity to do some sightseeing along the way. You can step off the train, uh, step off the uh, tour uh, onto a real glacier uh, there on the Icefields Parkway. You can actually get up and walk around on the glacier uh, before continuing on to Jasper, where you do a one night stay. And then you board the Via Rail, that's the Canadian train, the Via Rail train for one overnight journey uh, across back to Vancouver to finish out your time. So like the name suggests, it is a circular itinerary. You make a circle from Vancouver out to the Rockies and back. And I really think this is a, one of our best, most popular trips because it features not only the incredible Rocky Mountaineer luxury train, but also an overnight train journey on the Via Rail, which I think is really kind of fun and unique. You get to do the luxury train and the sleeper train all in one uh, itinerary, which is kind of a lot of fun. Now this trip here does feature, of course, the Canadian Rockies, which are a spectacular destination in and of themselves. Uh, this is Lake Louise down here on the bottom. That's that famous Chateau Hotel perched light on the right on the lakeside. Uh, that's Banff on the bottom left, Jasper on the top right, and of course, Vancouver on the top left. Uh, absolutely incredible destinations to take in that breathtaking uh, natural beauty up there in the Canadian Rockies. And of course, you'll see a tremendous amount of that natural beauty by train as you travel through the Rockies by train. Uh, now, the Rocky Mountaineer is designed to travel through the sightseeing during the daytime. So how it works is the train is going to leave Vancouver, travel through those stunning, incredible mountains uh, as far as a town called Kamloops. You'll stop in Kamloops for the night, and they'll actually pick you up right there at the train station and bring you over to the hotel. Uh, you'll spend the night in a hotel, and then they'll bring you back to the train the next morning so that you can continue your journey in the daylight so you can see all the great sights. Uh, you'll then go from Kamloops to Banff that second day. Uh, so you don't sleep on the Rocky Mountaineer train uh, because they want you to have that experience of getting all that incredible scenery during the daytime. Now, the Rocky Mountaineer has two classes of service. The first class is called Gold Leaf. Uh, Gold Leaf is a double decker train car. So, on the top level, that's where you sit most of the day. You can see the incredibly comfy plush seats. They recline back, they have footrests that come up. Of course, they have tray tables if you want to set up a tablet or something. But to be honest, I think you're going to spend most of your time with your eyes glued to these uh, wraparound windows here to take in the stunning snow-capped peaks, the rushing rivers, the turquoise lakes of the Canadian Rockies, and maybe even some wildlife if you're lucky. Oftentimes folks will see elk or bear or other wildlife from the train. When it is mealtime, so breakfast and lunch, you'll go downstairs uh, to the dining car. So the dining car is on the bottom level, your seating's on the top level. Uh, meal times are fantastic on the Rocky Mountaineer. Again, they've got chef prepared meals fresh on board. There are a wide variety of choices for you to choose from. And your lunch meal will come with uh, complimentary uh, British Columbian, so local uh, wine, so complimentary wine along with your uh, afternoon meal there. And with the gold leaf class as well, you do have access to the veranda. So again, similar to the Royal Scotsman, uh, there's an open air veranda where you can step 
you know, uh, out into the fresh air while the train is moving, get some fantastic selfies of you and the train tracks, um, and just breathe in that fresh mountain air during your train journey. So that is exclusive to the folks with the gold leaf uh, service. The other class of service on the Rocky Mountaineer is silver leaf service. Silver leaf are these single level carriages. You can see this carriage in the foreground of the photo here. That's the silver leaf carriage. You still have these massive, huge windows which wrap around the top uh, for viewing of all that incredible scenery and wildlife. Uh, the main difference here with silver leaf is that you do you don't have a separate dining area you have your meal served to you at your seat but you've got a really big tray table that comes out they put like a little mini tablecloth over it your meals are still served on china with you know uh silverware and everything like that uh, and they do of course include the complimentary beer or wine uh, with your afternoon meal in silver leaf as well after your stay in the incredible Canadian Rockies, you'll take the Via Rail train back to Vancouver. Now you have some choices for your accommodations on Via Rail as well. You have the Cabin 42, which you see here. Uh, cabin 42 is seating during the daytime, and then at night it goes down into this, again, bunk bed style configuration here. So lower berth, a ladder to the upper berth. With the cabin for two, you do have a private washroom. So you have a private uh, restroom with toilet and sink, and the shower is just down the hall. Now do keep in mind, it is just one overnight on board this train. You'll leave uh, Jasper in the mid morning and you'll be in Vancouver the next day. So just one overnight on board this train. But if you are looking for something a little more plush and luxurious, keeping with our luxury theme, you can always consider the prestige cabin. Uh, now the prestige cabin is a lower bed so if, again if there is mobility concerns this might be a good choice the cabin itself is also about twice the size of the cabin for two so lots more space to kind of kick back and relax during the day massive absolutely massive picture window here to see the beautiful sights of the canadian rockies and of course you do have your own ensuite uh, bathroom with the Prestige Cabin, your bathroom does include a shower. So you've got a full uh, ensuite uh, set of facilities there, private to your room with the Prestige Cabin. You also have an exclusive lounge and dome car just for you. Uh, and all of your meals, of course, and drinks are included with Prestige. Uh, so that does include your alcoholic beverages. With the Cabin for two, your meals are included, but the alcoholic beverages would be purchased out of pocket. And brand new for 2021, the Rocky Mountaineer is expanding from the Canadian Rockies to the Colorado Rockies. Uh, so the Rocky Mountaineer train is actually moving some of their equipment down to the Colorado Rockies for the summer season this year. Uh, so they will start in Denver, in the heart of the Colorado Rockies, travel through the incredible mountains across to Glenwood Springs, Similar to Kamloops, you'll actually get off the train and spend the night in a hotel there in Glenwood Springs. Of course, the transfers are included. You'll then transfer back to the train and continue on to the incredible Red Rocks of Utah. You finish out in Moab with two nights there. Moab is a really neat little town just outside of Arches National Park. So of course, we do include a full day tour of both Arches and Canyonlands National Park here. Uh, in Utah for you, along with this itinerary. So you get that impeccable Rocky Mountaineer style and service, but right in our own backyard here in the US. So this is a great choice if you're looking for a luxury train experience, but you wanna stick a little closer to home this year. Highly recommend this. This just came out just a few weeks ago. Uh, you can see here, there is not gold leaf on the Colorado train, it's silver leaf or Silver Leaf Plus. Uh, so again, you still have those massive wraparound windows to take in the incredible Rocky Mountains and the red sort of canyon scenery in Utah. You have your concierge. Again, you've got that Rocky Mountaineer service. So you've got the concierge, the gourmet meal served to you at your seat. And with this one, this particular Rocky Mountaineer itinerary, they do have what's called Silver Leaf Plus. Uh, so Silver Leaf Plus has just a several extra perks which are available uh, to guests. The Silverleaf Plus has its own exclusive lounge car where you can go and relax if you want to get up and stretch your legs and relax. You've got an exclusive lounge car in which to do that. 
You also have a little bit of an elevated dining experience. You have an additional course during your meals and you get premium alcoholic beverages uh, with the Silverleaf Plus category. So just something to consider when you're looking at the trip if you want those little extra perks to make it an even more luxurious experience. Now this train is going to leave you off in Moab, which I said, as I said, is in Utah. It is right outside of Arches National Park. So we do have you do a full day tour of Arches and Canyonlands National Park. These are very small uh, groups, so maximum sort of five or eight people in the group. So very small, personalized uh, tour from local tour guides uh, to show you all the incredible sights of those two fantastic national parks in Utah. So again, this is the Rocky Mountaineer here in the U.S. for this year, for 2021. It'll be uh, traveling from Denver through Glenwood Springs onto Moab. And we have several great itineraries uh, along this route with Rocky Mountaineer as well. Now for our final train, we'll keep that sort of red rock scenery vibe, but we'll travel just about as far from Cal Colorado as you can get uh, down under to Australia for the Great Gone Adventure. Now the Great Gone Adventure is an eight day itinerary altogether, starting at $3,899 per person. And that includes two nights at the start in Darwin, before you travel through the incredible Australian outback, down through Alice Springs and along to Adelaide. So you'll do two nights at the end of your journey in Adelaide. And in between is a three night, sort of three night, four day journey of the incredible Gone Train. Now the Gone itself uh, has been making this outback crossing since 1929. So just celebrated its 90th birthday a couple of years back here. Uh, and really the highlight of the journey is the scenery. Just several shots of the scenery here. You can see that outback uh, desert kind of red dirt, the cliffs and mountains in the distance uh, and the scenery stretching on as far as the eye can see. Uh, really, this is one of the only ways to see the outback. Uh, there's not a heck of a lot of roads that <laughs> traverse uh, the outback in Australia. This is one of the uh, best ways to see that scenery. Also, by far, one of the most comfortable ways <laughs> to see that scenery there in the outback. Uh, now, this train does have excursions. We'll talk about those in just a minute. And it does have some pretty incredible fine dining available for you on board as well. Uh, they do have dining cars and lounge cars. Uh, so again, you can kick back and relax in the lounge if you'd like during the day. And then at mealtimes, you'll head down to the dining car, which is all inclusive. So all of your meals, fine wines uh, and alcoholic beverages are included here on the Gone train for you. Now, as I said, like the Royal Scotsman, this is the only other train that we have that does this, so this is pretty unique. Uh, they do have excursions built into your train journey, so the train will travel a certain distance, it'll stop, everybody will get off the train and be brought to their excursion. Uh, like this one here out to Catherine Gorge, you can see that pretty stunning and incredible scenery uh, there. Uh, my favorite one is probably this one here, which is uh, a barbecue in Alice Springs. Now, during the day, you have the option to do an, uh, an excursion out to Uluru, the famous huge red rock uh, that's pictured in pretty much every piece of uh, promotional material for Australia. <laughs> so you can go out and see Uluru, take your photos there. And then, pardon me, that evening you'll have a barbecue, traditional Australian barbie, <laughs> under the stars in Alice Springs. And the stars themselves are absolutely spectacular. So as you can kind of see in the photo there, you are in the middle of nowhere. <laughs> and once they turn off uh, the lights in our little dining area, uh, there is no light pollution to speak of out here because there are no major cities anywhere nearby. You can easily see an explosion of stars overhead, uh, including the Milky Way. So it's really a special night uh, along this journey on the Gone Train. Now, there are two classes of service on the GON. The first we'll look at here is gold service. The gold service is very nice and comfortable. Uh, during the day, it is seating for you. 
and then at night it will fold down into an upper and lower berth as you see in that top left hand photo there now again because you are traveling on board the train for three days you do have your own private ensuite facility so restroom and shower there private ensuite to your room and sorry about that with the, the gone train as well uh, you have a fun little in cabin radio which you can tune to music channels or you can tune it to audio commentary so they will tell you all about the different uh, areas you're traveling through on the little radio there and of course as i mentioned all of your meals and everything are included there uh, with your cabin but if you do want a little bit more space or that extra extra luxury you can always upgrade to the platinum service uh, the platinum service on the gone train the cabin is a little bit larger than the gold service so you have a little bit more space to kick around during the day and then in the evening it does fold down into these two uh, single beds here so again a great choice for anybody that does have mobility concerns because there's no need for a ladder you do have those two single beds of course, you do have your private ensuite facilities with the Platinum service, and you also get exclusive access to the Platinum Club, uh, which is a special train car for dining and, of course, socializing during the day. So not only do you get the little bit higher end cabin, you get an exclusive train car just for the Platinum service. Uh, passengers and there's not usually very many platinum service passengers at all uh, there's only two cabins per train carriage uh, so these will go very fast if you are interested in the gone train for platinum service I can tell you they're more or less already booked through 2021 so uh, you may want to consider 2022 uh, probably would be good anyway to head down to Australia give it a little time <laughs> but uh, definitely let us know if that's a train you're interested in because that one will book up super fast uh, there's very limited departures of that train it only goes out maybe once or twice a month so um, and it does as I said start in Darwin and end in Adelaide but of course you can choose to do that in reverse if you'd prefer now we are right coming up to our time limit here. Uh, so I do not have time to uh, unfortunately talk about every incredible luxury train that we do. So I just wanted to show you a few more. Uh, the Venice and Plum Orient Express does go to quite a few places. It's not just London to Venice. You can also travel from uh, or out to Vienna, to Amsterdam, to Budapest. So just depending on when you wanna go, there's quite a lot of different choices for you. Of course, if you are interested in Australia, uh, there's another great luxury train in Australia called the Indian Pacific. We also have the Golden Eagle, which is a Trans-Siberian train. The Eastern Oriental goes from Bangkok to Singapore in Southeast Asia. There are multiple beautiful luxury trains in India, including the Palace on Wheels and the Maharaja Express. Uh, and then, of course, we have the blue train down in South Africa. So really, if there's any luxury train that you are interested in, go ahead and pop it in the comments, and I'll make sure that somebody gets you some information on those luxury trains if we haven't had time to feature them today. A quick note, uh, as I said before, all of these trips here are customizable. You can make anything a round trip, you can book anything in reverse, you can add destinations, you can change around those sightseeing tours or even upgrade to private tours. Maybe you want a private tour of the Uffizi Gallery or you wanna do a pasta making class uh, in Rome, whatever it might be, we can accommodate uh, the sightseeing that you would like during your train journey. And we also have a wide variety of hotels. So we have three star, four star, and five star hotels for you to choose from. And you don't have to do all of one thing. You can do a three star hotel in Vancouver. You could stay at the Buffalo Mountain Lodge, a really cool lodge with a fireplace and stuff in Banff. You could then stay at the famous Fairmont Chateau, five star property in Lake Louise. And then maybe do the four star Chateau Jasper when you hit Jasper. So you can mix and match what types of hotels you like all throughout your journey. Now a quick question for you before we wrap up uh, and that is what destination are you thinking about for your next train journey or your next vacation? Uh, so we do these presentations every week and we're always looking for suggestions from you about where you would like to go, what you'd like to hear about. Uh, so please do pop those away 
in the questions box and we'll make sure to include those destinations in some of our upcoming presentations. Very quick reminder that we have a sale going on right now. You can save up to $500 per couple on our Great Escape sale up until this Friday, the 29th of January. And without any further ado, I will answer a few questions. And I do promise you that if I do not answer your question live on today's broadcast, we'll have somebody from the team reach out to you tomorrow and get you the answer that you need. So we always do answer each and every question here with Railbookers. Uh, if you do have any questions you haven't asked yet, please feel free to type them away in the questions box. Alrighty, first, quickly, Muriel, I will make sure to send you the map and the handout. I do apologize that they wouldn't download, but I'll go ahead and make sure we get those out to you by email within the next 24 hours. Uh, then I've got a question here from Stuart. Uh, Stuart would like to know about dining restrictions on board the train. Uh, so great question, Stuart. So absolutely, we can accommodate different dining requests and restrictions, whether it's a low sodium or a low carb diet, or of course, if you have any food allergies, we would just ask you to let us know that uh, at the time that you make your reservation and we'll let the trains know. Uh, as you saw today, pretty much on all these luxury trains, the meals are prepared fresh on board the train. So you don't have to worry um, really because they can customize the meal to suit you. Next question here uh, is from Susan. Uh, who asks about a dress code. Is there a dress code uh, on the Venice Simplon Orient Express? So great question, Susan. That will vary a little bit by train. Of course, I know you asked about the Venice Simplon Orient Express. Uh, on the Venice Simplon Orient Express, and really on all of the trains, uh, during the daytime, classy sort of casual attire is perfectly fine. Uh, so they say, business casual uh, does not mean you need to wear uh, what you'd wear to the office. It just means be comfortable. You're sitting on a train. Maybe you're going on excursions. Uh, but of course, we do have, you know, a little bit of a classy uh, atmosphere on board the train. So business casual is great during the daytime. Uh, in the evening on the Venice and Plant Orient Express uh, for dinner, it is customary for folks to dress for dinner. So wear your fancy outfit. Uh, cocktail dress, evening gown, uh, nice suit uh, or tuxedo, uh, whatever it might be, uh, just you know, kind of dress up for dinner, but otherwise it's really business casual on those trains. Alrighty folks, and we are just about at our time limit, so I have time for one more question. Uh, so last question here is from Mary. Uh, Mary says, I joined late, uh, do you have uh, can I get a copy of this presentation? Uh, absolutely, Mary. So no worries. Um, what we're going to do is we're going to email everybody uh, within 24 hours. We'll email you with a link to the presentation so you can watch it again or share it with friends and family if you prefer. And super quick, Peter, I do see your request as well for the maps and attachments. I do apologize that they wouldn't download for you. We'll go ahead and send you those as well. So Thank you folks for joining me. I really appreciate you taking the time out of your very busy day um, to spend with us here at Railbookers. I hope you have a fantastic rest of your evening. Thank you so much and have a great night.